Last night, President Trump touched on the opioid crisis in this country. Here locally, leaders and law enforcement, they're working together pretty proactively addressing the issue. News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers in our newsroom with the impact that's being made here. Tanya? Well, Shannon, the task force was put together in 2016. More than a year later, leaders are sharing the force's impact. This is the Ambrosia Treatment Center on Singer Island. Jerry Haffey is the man in charge. I hate seeing kids die in closets because of scumbag providers. He's clearly passionate about helping people beat substance abuse. But Haffey knows treatment centers around here have a bad reputation. That's why he joined forces with State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg to lobby for money to fund the Sober Homes Task Force. We are ground zero when it comes to instances of fraud and corruption within the drug treatment industry and together with the good players in the industry we've been able to clean up a lot of the bad actors and Ehrenberg says in the task force first year they made an impact 44 arrests 13 convictions and counting people who try to broker patients on notice and so you're seeing that that new law combined with our aggressive law enforcement efforts has really helped to clean up a lot of the industry now we still have more work to do but Palm Beach County has become a national leader in this fight. For Haffey, cleaning up the corruption allows the dedicated treatment centers accomplish their mission. They deserve the best treatment they can possibly get. They deserve a safe, ethical facility. The task force includes several Palm Beach County police agencies and law enforcement from local, state, and federal agencies. Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5. Today, the doctor fired from the Tampa Bay.